Hi guys, this is G1 Devastator back with another review. Today's review is going to be on the G1 reissue of Soundwave. I was super excited because um, I was able to find one at my uh, local Walmart. Uh, all of these that you see here are actually uh, on loan from a couple of my local uh, Transformer collector buddies. Uh, this one on the top is actually mine. Um, so initially, I was very excited about getting this toy, but I want to show you guys a problem that is that runs across all of these. Um, I don't know if they don't have the same quality control or they're not as strict uh, with their quality control, but all of these that you see right here, there is something wrong with all of them. So I'm going to go through uh, all of them and show you guys the inconsistent paint job, the scratches, um, just a number of things. So let's get into looking at these. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some issues that all of them have. So this one on top is mine. And as you can see, the chrome is really messed up. There are scratches here. And these are actually scratches on the toy. These are not, this is not damaged to the box. I'm gonna show you guys this is still factory sealed. Right there, straight from the store. Okay, and this one is mine. Um, I didn't, I was so excited when I found it, I just really didn't pay attention, but when I got it home, I was really disappointed. Okay, so we're gonna move on to this one. And right off the bat, you can see that these feet are two different colors. So this one is about a half a shade to a shade darker than this one. Okay, and then I'm going to show you up here. There is a scratch there. Again, this is on the actual toy, uh, not on the box itself. There's one here. There we go. You can see it right there. Okay, and then the next one here. There are scratches all right here. There's also some at the top. There are some right here. And then ones down here. Again, these are actually on the toy, not on the box. And again, it is sealed from the store. Next one we have here. There's a scratch there. There's a bunch of scratches up here. <clears throat> there is an inconsistency right there. It's not really a scratch, but you can see it right there. And then scratches down here. Again, not on the box, they're on the toy, and this one is sealed as well. And then this one, there are scratches there. There's a big one right there. Again, right there and right there. Again, not on the box, brand new in the package. Next one. We have a bunch of scratches right here in this corner. There is some down here. Again, here. You can see them, and up here. And um, it is also new and still sealed. Okay, and we have another one. And again, scratches scratches down here There's more scratches there and again it's sealed from the store okay then we have this one you can see scratching here down here 
here. Again, it's not on the box, it's actually on the toy. The, the scratches are on the toy. And this one is new and sealed as well. Last one here. There is a scratch there. There are some scratches here. Down here, and you can actually see the plastic. I don't know, it looks like it's weird. Maybe it was messed up in the mold. Then there's more scratches here, there, and there. So that makes nine sound waves. Um, all of these toys are $49 plus tax, and all of them had some serious uh, damage to them. Um, so for $49, I would expect to get way better quality um, and again, this didn't only affect me, it also affected my other local collectors too. And they were very upset about it. Um, and when they found out I was doing a video on it, that's why they loaned me theirs. So yeah, this one was a, was a disappointment. I do have him out of the box. He is right here with Buzzsaw. So we're gonna take a look at Buzzsaw first. Okay, there he is. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find my G1 version of Buzzsaw. I'm cataloging my collection right now, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but there he is. The closest thing that I could find today is from the Diaclone line. This is Condor. Okay, so let's... um go over here to the cannons. This is from the G1 Soundwave. This is from the reissue. So first of all, if you guys notice here, the indents are actually uh, deeper on the G1 and they're like really shallow on the reissue. So obviously there was a, a different mold that was used. Okay, on the other cannon, let's see, all right, so first off, you notice here this, this point on the G1 version is actually longer and more narrow than the reissue. Also this little cutout detail is a different shape as well. Then if you continue down. You'll notice these three little lines on each one of them. These are very narrow, and these are a little bit wider. Okay. And then, on the G1, there is no peg right here underneath this notch, but on the reissue, they put a little peg in there to hold it, um, I guess, so it doesn't close that easy. Um, also, the G1 cannon is a little bit bigger than, um, oh, I'm sorry, the uh, the reissue cannon is a little bit bigger than the G1. Okay, as you guys can see, I have the reissue sound wave here, my cassette man, and my G1 version of sound wave. Um, sound wave was actually originally part of the micro change line, just like the G1 Megatron, and that I do have a video, an older video, on my channel if you guys want to check that out. Um, here is my cassette man. Okay, close look. This is the reissue. Again, you can see, you know, obviously mine came like this out of the box. Um, I want to pay attention to the decals here. So if you take a look, you 
see if I can get it in focus here. The borders of the sticker and the lines, they look a little bit fuzzy on the Cassette Man. And then I'll show you on the G1 as well. You can see they look a little fuzzy. On the reissue, they're more crisp and clean. So I think um, they may ha uh, they have redesigned the decals. Uh, you can see the image quality is uh, also different. These appear to be digitally uh, printed and not screen printed like these, like the uh, Cassette Man and the G1 version of Soundwave. Um, the, the print screen decals, for whatever reason, always look fuzzy compared to the digital digitally printed ones. Okay, and then also I want you guys to pay attention right here to this corner. See how that sticker is rounded a little bit? And on Cassette Man, it's a sharp uh, like angle right there, as well as the G1 reissue, it's, it, it's very sharp, like pointed. Um, I think they actually used a plotter to cut these decals on the reissue. Um, on the older ones, they were cut with the old school die cutters, but you can tell this was not die cut because the corners and the points are, are rounded. They're not sharp. Um, the buttons on the reissue have also been redesigned, which I don't like because as you can see, they stick out way too far. The hinge here and here, you can see it's very visible from the front. I want you guys to see how far these stick out. I'm going to compare. So there's my G1. You see how flat and flush everything looks? This is, no, this is not flat. There's this like huge bulky thing sticking up. Okay, my cassette man is the same way. And actually, the hinges that you see here on the cassette man, they actually hit it. So you can see it right, right there. And on the G1, it's hidden too. You can see it right there in the same place. So again, I think it makes it look more bulky and, you know, less streamlined than the originals. Uh, the belt clip is also different. So on the G1, as you can see, it says Takara. It's stamped Takara there. There is no stamp on the outside. Also on my Cassette Man, there is um, no stamp there. Okay, so it, then if you remove it on the reissue, you can see there's the little number, Hasbro, uh, Tommy, made in China on it. And then on the G1, it's going to have the same Takara stamp inside the belt clip that's on the outside of the belt clip. On the Cassette Man, well, there we go. It actually says Xi'an Tai Taiwan in there. Okay and then nothing stamped on the outside. Also, if you take a look at the G1 version, at the bottom here, there are three lines that are in the middle here. On the reissue, they're actually missing. And the reissue is actually a little darker than the original G1, the, the blue plastic up here. Back here. So I just want to show you guys. On the reissue, you see there's three lines right here on the back of the chest and how they're like rounded on the ends. Okay, I'm going to show you guys on the G1. 
and they are actually more squared at the ends. So that is also um, another difference. Um, with all these uh, issues that I've had so far with this um, reissue from Walmart, uh, speaking to the bad paint jobs, quality control issues, um, the bulky redesign of the front here, um, I'm just not very happy with this one. Um, I, want, I would like to know if you guys have had any of the same issues. Have any of you guys found um, ones that look like this or the other ones that I showed you at the beginning? Have any of you found these that are messed up like this in your stores? Have you guys bought the damaged ones or scratched ones just so you could have it in your collection? Um, I'm not sure if this is just in my area. Decepticon logo is actually modeled after Soundwave's head. So, if you didn't know that, now you know that. It's a fun little tip, little, little, you know, thing to know if you're a Transformer collector. This guy right here, it's the Shattered Glass Soundwave. I purchased this actually a few years ago. But, um, when I was looking at it, I saw a couple of similarities to this G1 reissue. Um, but I'm going to point out an uh, obvious difference um, with these two. Uh, on the Shattered Glass one, you can actually put two cassettes in his chest. The reissue, you can only put one. Um, but the similarities are um, the hinges. You, they are very visible on here, and I'll, I'll lift the box up in a moment to show you guys. And um, the buttons are also uh, raised pretty high as well. Um, I really like this uh, shattered glass issue. Um, let me show you guys the front of it here. This is one of my favorites in my collection, one of my favorite sound waves, even though it is a shattered glass. Let's see if I get, you can see right there how the um, buttons stick up a little bit high, and then you can also see the hinges right there. Um, so yeah, he, he's one of my favorites, even though he is a shattered glass. And there's a blaster right here, and then the cassettes are in the middle. Uh, I really recommend you guys, if you can, to pick one of these up because it would make a nice addition to any collection. There's some artwork on the back. And there we go. Very nice artwork, very nice box. It also comes with this comic book. Um, it has really nice, you know, artwork and illustrations in here. It looks very, very nice. So yeah, that's why I do recommend you guys picking this up uh, if you can find it. Um, like I said, I got mine a couple of years ago. If you guys have any uh, questions about this or, um, you know, any questions about the shattered glass or where I picked it up or anything, you guys can leave a comment below. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Alright guys, that is it for this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, please show your support and subscribe. If you enjoyed my video today, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that's it for today and I'll see you guys next time.